actually, we actually have a permit, have a permit to walk on the sidewalk. Oh, This is the Brooklyn offices of J.P. Morgan Chase. Of J.P. Morgan Chase. Now we all know. Now we all know. There's a whole lot of reasons. There's a whole lot of reasons to hate on J.P. Morgan Chase. To hate on J.P. Morgan Chase. Here's one more. Here's one more. J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P. Morgan Chase was given a subsidy. Was given a subsidy of two hundred thirty-seven million dollars. Of two hundred thirty-seven million dollars to move offices. To move offices into these very buildings. Into these very buildings. Does that sound right? It's like no. no. Not only that. Not only that. They promised. They promised they would bring five thousand jobs. They would bring five thousand jobs into these two buildings. Into these two buildings. In exchange for that money. In exchange for that money. They only brought eighteen hundred jobs. They only brought eighteen hundred jobs and laid off workers throughout New York. You see all these big fancy buildings? These wouldn't have existed. These wouldn't have existed. If it wasn't for a rezoning, that rezoning made land much more valuable. Made land much more valuable for developers and landowners. For developers and landowners without mandating, without mandating any affordable housing, any affordable housing or other community benefits, or other community benefits. The developer of this building, the Torin, the developer of this building, the Torin, is notorious, is notorious for bulldozing, for bulldozing community gardens in the Lower East Side. 